I'm outside the Orange County Courthouse. Uh, today, look at this thing, it's huge. Today is September 18th, 2018, and I wanted to make this video because a year ago today was the day that I, I found out that I didn't pass the bar exam. Now, you're probably like, why are you making a video about this? You, that It was a year ago. Uh, well, I wanted to make this video because <clears throat> if you're watching this, you may have Googled, I failed the bar exam. That's probably gonna be my, I don't know, the name of the video or whatever. And I wanted to just let you know that you're not alone. In fact, Florida's bar exam results just came out yesterday for July 2018, and only two out of every three people passed, and that's high compared to other states. For example, California, it's like 4% of people passed. Well, it's not 4%, but it's like 25 to 40 something percent. A majority of people don't pass, so you gotta think about that as you soak in this little hurdle in your life. And you probably have Googled, like I did, 47 times, successful people that didn't pass the bar exam. And let's name them together. Hillary Clinton, Michelle Obama, JFK Jr., Benjamin Cardozo. He he was a SCOTUS guy, like in a court like this. Kind of a big deal. Anyways, so I'm not gonna talk about the prep classes or what I did to pass the bar the second time. If you wanna know stuff about that, message me, leave it in the comments. More personal stuff, you can hit any of these little social media sites to just get my direct message, uh, Twitter, Instagram, even Facebook. Uh, and you can message me about anything. You can ask me anything, really. Uh, but today I just wanted to make a video just saying that, one, you're not alone, and two, you're not a failure. You gotta think about the fact that you probably went to college, uh, you probably went to law school, and unless you're like in California where they have the thing where you can like, loopholes where you can like wave in and all that. You're, uh, in all of the world, you are in the 99.9 .9 percentile. This one hurdle, which may take six months, a year, maybe 18 months to get over, is a small blip in your life. In fact, you're, if you're watching this, you, you're probably gonna live till you're almost 100 years old. So 1% of your life is, 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 you know, just getting over this small hurdle. And this may be lame, but when I was like 11, I was at my friend's house, we were playing this video game, it was like Daytona 500, I never played before, and I was in last place the whole game. And somehow, I don't know how, I, it's better be lucky than good, I ended up winning. And Matt, my friend Max goes, Ben, how, what, what, how did that happen? And I go, Max, there's always drama in Legacy. And it was the lamest thing I've ever said in my life, but it stuck with me today over, that was, you know, I'm old. That was over 15 years ago. And it's true. Jordan didn't make his high school team. It made it, I think he didn't make it. You know, Shaq can't make a free throw. All of the, all of the legacies that are made have hurdles to get over. And this is just one small hurdle in your life. So I didn't want to make a long video ranting about how it's going to be okay, but it is going to be okay. And it's going to rain here in a few minutes, so I'm going to probably wrap this up. I just wanted to reach out to make this video and say that when, you I, I, when I found out I didn't pass the bar exam, I was in a Chick-fil-A parking lot. Why? I, it was, I knew they were going to come out at 9 a.m. And I figured, worst case scenario, I get Chick-fil-A. Best case scenario, I get Chick-fil-A. And I actually, I didn't even cry when I didn't find out. I cried when I passed the bar exam the next time because I was just, it's just something that you gotta let it soak in. And how, don't, however long that means for you. If it means you know, not talking to people, that's fine. If you feel uncomfortable, embarrassed, that's fine. But you have to realize that you just gotta pick yourself up and get back to work. And when you get back to work, you're not starting over. You have a, a solid foundation, as long as you studied for more than a week, of the concepts on the exam. When the scores come back, you'll get a breakdown of the sections that you did well in, the sections you did not do so well in, and move forward with that. And if you need help, I'm not a bar exam expert, but I can, I can be there to just give you my two cents. And, and that's what this is all about. The 
being an attorney and being in this family eventually, I've actually never been in this building. I don't know anyone that's in this building. And there's a cop that keeps pacing back and forth here that I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I can record right here, right? I don't know the laws. Anyways, I wanted to make this video to just, the main point is that you're not a failure and you're not alone. And I really hope that if, however you found this video, that it, it just gave you that insight. Um, one of the things that helped me pass the bar exam is actually a video by Shia LaBeouf. Uh, you've probably seen it. It's, he's in front of the green screen and he's, don't let, he's like, don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. And honestly, I watch that every day that I studied for the bar the second time. It's like 40, 66 seconds, 64 seconds. I'll link it below. And it's just, it, it's, it's everything you need to hear that I've been un inspirationally saying in this video in one sixth of the time. So with that, I'm just gonna cut the video off. Uh, again, please don't hesitate to message me if you have any issues uh, or if you're just struggling with anything related to the bar. Uh, and if you haven't taken the bar exam, uh, at all and you have questions you can message me uh, you're gonna be okay and it's gonna be okay and again you're not a failure many people before you have not passed and many people after you won't pass and the day that you pass that exam it's gonna be an amazing day for you and I hope that uh, if you've watched this and in the future you know you let me know that day I want to hear your story um, you don't have to comment, you can just message me. I Honestly, it was the, one of the best days of my life. And I, I didn't even go to school till I was 21. I didn't go to college till I was 21. So um, uh, it, it's special. And you just gotta take everything in perspective and just think about your story and, and don't let anyone else write your narrative for you. You're gonna own the bar and I can't wait to see you on the other side. If it's here in Florida or uh, across from me in the courtroom, so with that, thanks for watching and best of luck. You're not, you don't even need luck. You're going to do it. You're going to dominate. Um, I'm out and uh, peace.